Welcome back. In front of me, I've got a hands-free minecart station. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. Just get in the minecart, and I'm off. I didn't have to push any buttons or anything. Then I arrive at the station. I get out. I don't have to do anything. It just uh, the cart will sit there. In fact, I can push on this cart, and it won't move at all. And let me run through it again. I get in this cart. It goes off. Arrive at the station, the, the old cart that was there just gets put back into the station, making way for the new cart that I'm arriving on, and nothing ever runs into anything. I don't have to push any buttons, stand on any pressure plates, no switches, nothing. Uh, all I have to do is get in and get out one more time. Get in, go along, get out. Um, yeah, this is really neat. Uh, it uses a couple of new things that I discovered. Uh, let me show you how it works. So, first, uh, we set up this cart. Uh, let me show you the inside of my little house here. So, in order to set up the cart, all we do is we have this Pez dispenser here. Uh, the Pez dispenser gets a, a short burst in order to open and close the hatch real quick. When it does, the, the cart drops here onto this powered track. And we, you'll notice I have uh, four lengths of power, powered track, four lengths of power track followed by a, a curved piece and then uh, an unpowered track. And that leads on to a, uh, a little block here with a stone pressure plate. So when the stone pressure plate is unpowered, even though the cart is actually technically on top of it right now, uh, the stone pressure plate isn't pre pressed because there's nobody in the cart. Once you get in the cart, that presses the stone pressure plate, which turns on this power track and sends the cart off. When the cart goes off, it hits this uh, sensor track, and the sensor track triggers this little monostable circuit, which which triggers the, the 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 hatch to send out another cart. So that's that's the entire departure departure mechanism. It's actually pretty small. Um, I've, and you can you can check out some of my other videos for in, information on how to make the whole uh, Pez dispenser setup. Um, and then the other really cool thing about this um, is something else that I haven't seen anywhere. It's this uh, using the hatch to uh, make a little arrival station. So you'll notice this hatch here pre prevents the cart from fall from rolling down this uh, the sloped minecart track, and then. The, these blocks over here prevent the cart from going up, so so that no matter what you do, you can't actually move the cart. Um, this is pretty neat. You'll notice if I if I put the hatch up, it lets the, the cart go, and it, and it'll get returned to the top of the stack. So um, yeah, in fact, we could even just put a little button here, so that when we arrive at the station, if we want to if we want to return the cart back to the Pez dispenser, then we'll be able to use the button. Uh, return it. Um, the, the, the one last piece that I need is the sensor track uh, on the approach. And the sensor track is uh, hooked up to some uh, an underground monostable circuit that's down here somewhere, which hooks up to this torch. Uh, so so whenever I whenever a cart goes over the sensor track, it, it uh, turns on this torch for a short burst, which opens the hatch. So very simple. Um, yeah, another another thing you can do to the system if you want to make sure, because so if I nudge this cart, it's not going to be on the pressure plate anymore. I get in, it doesn't do anything. You can just put half blocks around this, and um, it'll allow the cart to travel freely, and you won't take suffocation damage or anything, and and you'll be still be able to um, right click on the cart to get in it. So, um, and then another, if you want to just uh, reset the cart, you just put it. So normally a, a thing would fall down from the Pez dispenser, but I can just put one straight here and it'll reset the cart correctly. So that's pretty much all there is. It's a nice hands-free system. Um, I, I, I plan on using this everywhere I can because this thing is amazing. Uh, you'll notice it's only five blocks wide by seven blocks long uh, by about five blocks tall uh, because of the Pez dispenser. Obviously, if you want to have a taller Pez dispenser, you'll you'll need to make room for that. But um, this thing here will handle three carts, and every block will get you another cart or two. So um, 
very compact, easy to use. Uh, yep, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.